Welcome to this short tutorial that explains how to attend a Zoom event in which participants are allowed to roam freely through the breakout rooms, especially if it involves making music. The first thing is you must have an up-to-date version of the Zoom application installed on your computer. Go to this website, zoom.us slash download, and there's a link at the bottom of this video. This is the product you want, Zoom Client for Meetings. Click Download and follow the instructions to install it on your computer or to update your existing Zoom client. You've probably received an email with a Zoom link that looks something like this, so click on that link. And when the browser comes up, click Launch Meeting, which will open this box, or the box might already be open, and just click Open Zoom us app and click join with computer audio and now you're in the meeting notice the toolbar at the bottom of the screen or you may have to hover down there until it pops up here's where you can mute and unmute your microphone you'll want to have your microphone muted whenever you're not using it and especially if you leave the room that your computer is in or when you first join a breakout room where an activity might be in progress click to unmute and click to mute and here you can start or stop your video anytime you want. There's the video, that's me. Notice this name in the lower left-hand corner. We'll get back to that. I'm going to shut off the video. There's that name again. You want to have the name everybody knows you by displayed so people can find you. To change your name, click on the three dots in the top right corner and click Rename and type in the name you want. Also notice that you can unmute yourself up in this top corner here. There are a few settings that are important to check and change if necessary. Go to the top left corner and click on this green shield with the check mark and then over on the settings wheel and click general. This line right here is very useful. Always show meeting controls. Check that so that it's blue and then this toolbar down at the bottom will always be present which is very useful. Now click audio and here you can adjust the volume that you're hearing and more importantly the volume of your sound that's going out onto Zoom. So if someone says you're too soft or too loud, you can adjust this slider and make it better. One very important setting if you're going to be making music on Zoom is this one. Show in meeting option to enable original sound. Make sure that box is checked and blue. And now we can click on the red dot in the upper left hand corner to close the settings. Here we see Turn On Original Sound. Zoom uses some audio processing to make it better for conversations, but that makes it actually bad for music. So you want to bypass that by turning on original sound by clicking here. And now it says Turn Off Original Sound. That's how you know original sound is on. Now let's see how to move around the event. Go to the bottom and find this Breakout Rooms icon. If your screen is narrow, you might not see it, and it will be under these three dots on the right-hand side. Either way, click on Breakout Rooms, and this window opens, showing you all the rooms and who is in each room. Zoom has a little quirk. You notice that AP and Sarah Carter are both in the kitchen, but Sarah Carter's name has not joined next to it, and it's not as dark as AP's name. That means that AP is actually in the kitchen, but Sarah is not, and we don't have to worry about why this is. It's just something to not be confused by. If you'd like to join AP in the kitchen, hover over the number to the right of the room name and click Join and say Yes. And now we're on our way to the kitchen. And there's AP. If you'd like to go to another breakout room, just click the icon again, choose Breakout Rooms, and there's your screen. So we can go down to the Riverview room, join, say yes, and we're off to the Riverview room, where we meet up with Susan. Notice with the breakout room window, you may have to scroll down to see all of the rooms. At any time, you can click Leave Room and then Leave Breakout Room, and this will return you to the main lobby where you first arrived. And that's all there is to it. Have a good time.